Barber Show here with my son KG. Um, you had a pretty good weekend. I did. I did. Okay. Problems this weekend is great. Okay, we'll talk about it a little bit yeah. later. Uh, we'll start first with up Friday. today. Yeah. Uh, first up today, we're gonna start with our Ram Proud winner for this week. It is Quindasia North. Uh, congratulations, Quindasia. Uh, come to the front office to receive your prize. I know uh, we only have one Ram Pride winner this week. We announced a lot of them at the end of last week on last Friday. Uh, but this came in from Mr. Tobin that says she's an awesome young lady. She runs track, loves geometry, loves geometry, <laughs> and wants to be an RN. So, um, Miss Noah, please come up to the front and get your prize. And teachers, again, I appreciate you nominating our students for Ram Pride. We'll put those on the marquee for the West Side community to see. And also, senior calendar participants are reminded to turn in ad money by May 28th to Ms. Worst. And also, yearbooks, there are only 75 left, and they're only $65, so you better get one soon. And yearbook distribution will be on Monday, May 18th. And seniors, we will have our first grad practice that day and receive our yearbook too, and then attend the senior cookout afterwards. Okay, we're, we're planning some very exciting things for your senior class. So again, students, make sure you take care of everything. Make sure you take care of any fees. We have some senior fees, but the fees from start with freshmen all the way to seniors. So anybody that has school fees, please make sure you take care of those so we can get those balances taken care of this year. We also had a dual enrollment meeting with Tri-County Tech um, last week with Ms. King Handler and our guidance counselors. Students have some deadlines and some information that you need to get turned in um, to the guidance officer, Ms. King Handley, as soon as possible. Um, students, we also have testing. We're at testing season right now. We're very proud of how hard we worked on the testing last week for our juniors. You have ELC in the course test. We have AP exams coming up. So students, please understand, work your hardest right now. Don't get lazy on me. We've had a great year so far. I want to make sure we end on a real good note. Uh, the prom. It was my first prom since 1987. Uh, so I was uh, anticipating how everything was, but all of the kids looked so nice and so dressed up. And it was a great night at the Hilton. I couldn't have wanted a better first experience. Didn't hear anything negative. Um, I thought y'all had a real good time. We did have a really great time. There was a lot of dance and a lot of jumping around on the dance floor. Especially Mr. Freddy. Got some nice music, Mr. Freddy. Okay. Well, I should have did the old famous <laughs> Roberts two-step. Um, but I thought you had everything under control. So, again, seniors, I appreciate seniors and juniors and everybody that came to the prom. I appreciate you following all of the procedures and directions and coming with your IDs and, and making sure your dates uh, were appropriate for a West Side High School activity. Is it time for Go Rams yet? I don't know, I don't think so. Okay. We got Senior Awards Night on May 7th, and um, that'll, that'll be tomorrow. And also, on May 7th, we have... My mother's birthday. So, we want to send you an early birthday shout-out, Grandma. We love you. Okay, now's the time. Yeah. You heard it here on the Corey Roberts Show. Go Rams. We're here with the West Side's King, Mr. Fullwood. He was crowned... King of the prom. I had the honor of crowning you. How did it make you feel when I came up with the crown and stuck it right on your head? I mean, it was a little too small for my head, but I mean, it felt good, you know. Got to get it adjusted a little. You got to adjust it just it a little bit. Adjust it won't fit, but I'm going to get it. We're going to get it straight. I think we need to have a, a tradition next year where you come back, hopefully, uh, and maybe you can crown the next King of Westside. How you feel that uh, you're going to hold that title for a whole year? All you got to do is let me know when. Let I got, you know when. I got you. <laughs> I didn't I know you, you were, were that talented when you sung at the Black History Program, and now you're the king of the prom. So, again, you represent Westside well. You do a good job right here, and Thank we certainly you. appreciate it. Thanks, sir. You heard it here on the Corey Roberts Show. Go Rams. Corey Roberts Show, here with my son, KG, and Emmanuel. Emmanuel's here for a very important reason, and a special reason for Westside High School. Emmanuel, why are you here? Well, Mr. Roberts, uh, if you haven't heard, the Westside soccer team actually made the playoffs after 23 years. A 23-year drought. Yes, sir. Um, how do you feel about that? I feel extremely excited because we get to play Hannah Tuesday night at 6 p.m. at their house, and we get to go over there and 
Beat some butt. That's great. You know, um, the show will actually come out on Wednesday, so by the time this airs, hopefully we'll have a victory and we'll be celebrating that. Yes, sir. I know y'all beat Hannah early in the year, first time in I think 15 years that we did that. And also very proud of you and the leadership you've shown to our soccer program over the years. We met earlier this year and you were kind of um, serious about the potential of this team. And I'm glad you led our young men the way you've led them. We're going to miss you next year. Yes, sir. Uh, but if we could bring you back, we would. <laughs> you have to take your <laughs> I would talent. come back glad. <laughs> we're going to have to take your talent somewhere else. But again, uh, for the West Side community, we're very proud of our soccer team and all they've accomplished and their leader is here and we need your support always. Go Rams. Hey everybody, it's Teacher Appreciation Week here at Westside, and this week students are appreciating their teachers left and right. This week I'm appreciating Miss Wurst because every day my, my day starts out on a positive note. Okay, I appreciate Mr. Powell because he really cares about his students and he takes time to really help us with whatever we need and he really cares about his subject. For my teacher for Teacher Appreciation Week, I chose Miss Jones for helping me always roll my R's, wear my ID, and always making me laugh. This, my name is Back in Shaw. I am in, in Ms. Evans on the sixth home being Paul. I just want to give a shout out to Ms. Evans for everything that you've done for us. Thank you for being there for us. Um, Ms. Evans, Ms. Sowa. Um, I've been at West Side for almost three years. Um, I, just, I love West Side. Um, I just want to give um, a shout out to um, Two oh seven. I think that's a woman. I don't know who woman number. I just want to thank for everything y'all done for me, Miss Wallace. We just we went to West High so We just wish y'all the best. And um, I know Miss Evans since it was in my I think 2010 or uh, ever since I've been in that way. Um. That's much uh, I said. That's it. Good morning, Westside. Um, as most of you know by now, this is National Teacher Appreciation Week. And so I just want to tell Coach Haley that I appreciate him and what he does. I appreciate you too, as well, Ms. Horst. Thank you. Um, but it, you might not have known this. It is also National Physical Education Week. So um, I think that's exciting. And Coach Haley is a PE teacher. So uh, just wanted to ask you a couple things about, you know, maybe why you went into physical education and how it can positively affect our students' lives. Well, uh, I became a PE teacher because I obviously enjoy sports, I uh, enjoy coaching, and, and I wanted to impact young people's lives, and so it just kind of made sense. And you have impacted young people's lives. I would I hope positively. positively. I positively. would hope so. Yes. So. Um, anything else? Are we are we doing more running? Are we got great weather? Anything exciting for PE this week? Uh, we're actually doing physical fitness tests this week, which is a, which is a big deal because we have to send those results into the state department and get compared against other schools. So what do they have around to the do? state? Uh, we get tested on the pacer, push ups, curl ups, the trunk tests, a sit and reach, and the mile run. Mm, what's a good mile time? Uh, let's see. Probably if. For ages 15, uh, at least 9 minutes, 30 seconds. Okay. I think I could do that. I think you can manage that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All I'd right. just like to say that I appreciate the fact that you're appreciating PE Teacher Appreciation Week. And that we do accept gifts uh, in the form of gift cards, food, but preferably just straight cash money. Thank you.
name is Jose Herrera and I'm going into the Air Force. I chose the Air Force because it seemed like the best fit for me and what I wanted to do in the Air Force. And eventually I hope to become a pilot, uh, but I'll start off in munitions, uh, dismantling warheads, and storing them for later use. Hi, my name is Anthony Bagwell and I'm going into uh, Army. I chose the Army because I felt like it was a calling that I needed to do. Uh, I'm a 13 Bravo and I ship out to Fort Sill, Oklahoma on June 9th to do field artillery which is I'm driving a Paladin, driving or operating on a Paladin. My name is Brandon Pruitt. I joined the United States Marine Corps because I've always felt a calling towards that and I'll make a difference in the world. I'm Brian Harper. I joined the United States Navy. Uh, I'm, my MOS is Machinist Man on the Submarine, and it's a great thing to do. Everybody should do. I joined the South Carolina National Guard. I am a 91 Delta. I am a general mechanic. I chose it because I wanted to defend my country, and I'm getting put through college. Okay, seniors, I want to remind you that all attendance recovery hours must be handled by May 16th. So if you're having issues with attendance recovery, you have hours that you need to um, take care of, please come see me as soon as possible. We do know that time is limited, so I need you to take this seriously. Thank you, and I hope to see you soon.